Okay, on this board, let's have a look at it. We have Bishop Fortress with Chapel. So yeah, infinite, probably an infinite game here. Uh, also we have Jack of all trades, Dutchy Duke, which can get a lot of points. Ah, he's recording also, okay. Um, I don't quite know how you want to open f to that. You want to get chapel, of course, for sure. And you want a bishop eventually. But is it fast enough? I mean, you want like four bishops, a lot of fortresses. And then there's the standard big money strategies with Embassy Jack, also pretty fast. But if you are not going to help emptying the provinces, the strategy could get problems. pretty difficult. What do you want to pair up with the chapel? The fortress at first doesn't really help you hitting four, so maybe silver. On the other hand, militia can really slow down your opponent. And yeah, that's of course, yeah, with a militia, the fortress bishop thing isn't that interesting anymore. And then you could even go full engine engine with jack throw a bishop and a few fortresses in there that sounds good because it's kind of paper rock paper scissors militia beats bishop fortress kind of but jack of all trades beats militia and pure big money is beaten by bishop fortress again pretty interesting board here Really interesting. Don't know how it's going to play out. I'm really not sure. One copper. <laughs> Also the jack. Yeah, I put that back. I want to trash that and get a free, well, not free, but get my first fortress. They are uh, like the most important stuff in this deck. And here I can trash my hand. Uh, really, already a pretty nice opening so far. But it seems like he has just the same. Uh, I have to notice I'm first player, so that might be important to remember. And also, yeah, it's fast, the speed. That's exactly the same shuffle luck, so, so far, everything is even. I mean, what else can I draw? I can draw silver. Shuffle a little more, and I think I'm gonna do that. Okay. So with six, is there a second buy anywhere? No. Do I want golds? Not really, huh? Do I want stables? Stables could be okay. Mm, you really want the second buy anywhere? You can't get it. And without a second buy, the Bishop Fortress could be quite 
slow. Oh, there's the chapel. That's the last card. I could have drawn it dead. Oh no, I wouldn't. I had fortress first. So clearly, right move. Uh, I think I won't start with the bishop. Start racking up those points. Getting two fives is, should be not the problem anymore. Soon. Wow, that's good. That's quite lucky. So yeah, with this, with that nice turn, he's now the one turn I was ahead by being starting player. Now he's the one turn ahead because I can't buy anything here. Oh, he don't want the jack anymore. Really committing now to Bishop Fortress? Um, I think. Uh, discard that. That's the time when I go militia. anything no Man, not having these buys really sucks. It really is bad. I should trash now. Any opportunity he gives me. He trashed his chapel now. Roads. I don't understand the crossroads. But I need another fortress. And I really hope uh, that I can get a fort or I have to. 
to get a fortress, at least one of the stables. Huh. Okay, now he goes for Watchtower, which is again a counter to Militia. Crazy. This is Bishop.
Oh man, this must be pretty boring to watch. I mean, I don't want to sit the whole night here. Plays Fortress does nothing. Interesting. Seems like a bad turn for him. Well, I play Fortress. And then I play another Fortress. Because I can. And I, I really only have to leave one Fortress at any time in my hand. So yeah, so I do that. Funny. Put that back, yeah. So that's good. Don't trash anything. And I'm lacking a little bit actions. Four fortresses. Um, then I kind of do the same thing like last turn. Play militia because it's good to attack him. Maybe even the stables. Oh, they are not really worth it at this point. I don't have as much coin. should trash the silver here. I get another one when I play my jack and I can draw more that way. I should really get bishops now. When I get two bishops, I have five, he only has four, so I will get more points any turn. And I'm pretty likely to hit four bishops. And I can always get more action with crossroads. The sound is again bad. I'll try it again. Fortresses in hand. Uh, I have two more fortresses, and those have to be those two, right? Those two cards. To just be sure, I'm going to use the first bishop on this one. So 
and there's the bishop and the silver and if I'm unlucky I draw the silver but why don't try it okay I drew the silver but Mindesheim go go So I have five bishops, five fortresses. I will get a crossroads next. Next. Then I have one bishop more than him. And now it's not a five-five bishop split because one bishop is in the trash from him. And that's really bad. Where are all my fortresses gone? I have to trash a silver if he bishops me. So he buys another watchtower and he's really ahead in points now. actually really have a problem with my actions so um, I really need the crossroads that's a good card for me the mistake. Now he goes for the points to end the third pile I think. Maybe. So this game will find an end.
maybe, hopefully, and the trash says. So I have a limited time now to do what I want to do and to play the game. <laughs> Played my fourth bishop. I want to watch tower now. His deck, uh, his hand was bishop, 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 fortress, and he's still going to get a decent turn out of that. Seems like four bishops isn't bad, uh, worse than five, because you have the five sta card starting hand. He's planning out his dates. always having the estate in the starting hand man that's not I want not what I want to say I want him clock having the deck clocked up with the estates yeah crossroads Always those questions if you want to trash something, they really long and... Oh! Okay, mistake on my side. Uh, what do I want to buy? Do I even want to buy something? Oh man. I don't think so. But yeah, this really costed me some points. the track now. I mean eventually he should have shouldn't have the estate in his starting hand and then he only can trash an estate, maybe? I don't know. So he doesn't have the estate in hand now, else he would have already trashed that. And I think I should trash the silver as well here. But first of all I'm trashing the fortress. Uh, let's see, the last card in my deck is the bishop, right? So I'm... Um, Gonna do that. Hey, the first turn where I'm able to play five bishops. 
Isn't that something good? I'm gonna be able to hit seven every turn if it's everything goes wrong. So I can buy duchies if need be. But for now I end the turn. I will closely come near to him with about three turns, uh, three points every turn if I get the perfect bishops lining up. And maybe I attacked him with the bishop good enough so that he can't draw. Oh, he draws a wash tower. That's so... Ah. I don't know. I mean, his deck is really thin, but why don't draw the estate? I kind of need a turn where he does that. The starting hand already looks a little bit bad. So if I draw a bishop, I'm pretty much out. If I draw the crossroads, I have a problem. Ah, so bad. So bad. That's why you don't get five bishops, but this kind of constellation could even have happened with four. Well, once again, one of his... I mean, he has two watchtowers, right? So, no. Nothing to be said against this. Mm. should consider getting duchy. Why the hell not? At the very least I can bishop that for an extra point instead of a fortress. like he never stalls.
treasures that with watchtower even nice soon over guys in times like this you remember how much you could hate dominion sometimes why did donald x made this combo possible again. Resign that. I got five points for that. Yeah. 